is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to talk about a few different horror topics in this video here today we'll talk about thanksgiving 2 we're going to talk about i know what you did last summer the upcoming legacy sequel and then we'll round it out by talking about terrifier 3 so let's talk about thanksgiving 2 trisha paytas is claiming a role was written for her in thanksgiving 2 which is supposed to be shooting soon according to her now she revealed this on the just trust trish podcast and here's my interpretation of this information it sounded like she was saying a role exists that could be best suited if she was the one hired to bring the role to life now the other interpretation is the writers decided to offer her a role in the film i just wasn't too clear on what she meant maybe i'm stupid i don't know anything is possible she didn't indicate this would be a big role anyway but would you like to see trisha paytas in thanksgiving too i personally don't care she talked about addison being back talked about her friend giving her a call this is on again that just trish podcast i'm not really too familiar with trisha i do not watch any of her content but i know she has her fans who would eat this up i also know from what i've gathered in my comment sections that this is a very controversial individual whatever let me know what you guys think about trisha paytas possibly being in thanksgiving too down in the comment section below if you would want to see that why or why not now we're going to talk about i know what you did last summer so according to film updates brandy is meeting with jennifer robinson who we know is the director of i know what you did last summer very soon now at the time of when i put out my tweet sharing them as the source it did say next week indicating it would be this week that they would be having a conversation but then they changed it and updated their tweet to say soon so i don't know exactly when they are going to be meeting but this does again give people some hope when it comes to okay it's a work in progress when it comes to brandy being a part of i know what you did last summer and i do want to address this really quick the idea that brandy could be lying about not knowing that they were working on that okay sure maybe we are getting some type of andrew garfield toby mcguire no way home thing but the logic in me wants to say that that's not what she meant and that she was being quite genuine when she said she didn't know they were doing this project i just find it all very interesting the reason i don't think it's a no way home situation is because those of you who are constantly looking at who's following who pointed out exactly when the director started following brandy so if brandy knew about this why is brandy just now being followed the director at the time was already following certain cast members that were already announced brandy was not one of them you guys pinpointed exactly when it seemed like she started following her so i don't think we're getting a no way home situation i think we're just getting something in which carla is going to be factored into the story due to demand by those of you online and we're going to just have to wait and see if it's going to be something worthwhile or if it's just going to be some sort of cheap nostalgia arc that has no real impact on the overall proceedings of the story one way or another i think that again carla's return could end up being one of the most unnecessary returns because everything that we've been seeing logically points towards carla not even being a part of the original plans or at least not in a major capacity for all we know carla could have just had some sort of easter egg appearance and now it seems like they've gone out of their way to give brandy or want to give brandy some type of on-screen presence so we'll just have to wait and see how this meeting goes brandy herself after revisiting her interviews the energy she has towards carla indicates that she probably wouldn't even come back if her, if it is for something very cheap and uneventful she seems to want to come back and do something fun with carla and i don't blame her but the last thing we're going to talk about here is going to be terrifier three so david claire bennett interviewed art the clown himself david howard thornton who had some interesting comments about terrifier 3 and i will share a link to this youtube video down in the comment section since we didn't get a trailer today thornton says the scene with the little girl shown in the initial teaser is going to be controversial so he said it's a great way to start the film too so i then went wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute i could have sworn in the past we heard about the hospital ending of terrifier 2 being the start of 3 or did i misunderstand that and then i and then i went and go i went to go search and i was like no i did not misunderstand anything damien actually tweeted that three starts where two left off because david's comments lead me to believe this after that opening bloodbath in the hospital with victoria we're going to jump to a little girl getting hacked up while trying to say hi to santa claus like we've been teased with that teaser now i was also one of those individuals chalking it up to being some sort of child's play too like marketing similar to how we know 
Chucky steps on that Jack in the Box. There is no scene like that in Child's Play 2. I thought that's what they were doing for Terrifier 3. But now David's latest interview would seem to indicate that that sequence is actually going to happen and that a child is not going to be safe on Christmas Eve night or whatever this is when they go downstairs and try to say hi to Santa Claus because they're going to be in for some sort of sick twist and it's going to be Art himself just impersonating Saint Nick. Now, he did go on to tease a higher body count. He also said he thinks this opening sequence that's going to be controversial is going to be a great way to grab, grab people's attention. He talked about creative kills related to the Christmas theme. I don't know how controversial that opening scene will be, but I know I won't be one of the ones pissing and moaning online after I watch. Damien did compare the opening, though, to films like Scream and When a Stranger Calls, so that gets me excited. Now, I want to address this trailer situation. The trailer, again, from what I had heard and evidence that was provided to me, and those of you who I know were primed and ready to talk about the trailer today. The trailer was supposed to be out today. What happened to that? I don't know, but my best bet would be the leaked images that started appearing online is what prompted the trailer to be delayed now i don't know when we're going to see the trailer anymore because it was supposed to be today that's the problem i will say i think it could still be sometime this week but tomorrow we're supposed to get the sonic trailer now if you drop the trailer tomorrow sure that's fine but why drop it on the day the sonic trailer is supposed to drop why not just drop it on a day where there's no other distractions and people can just go look at the Terrifier trailer? Not to say that the Terrifier 3 trailer would make more views anyway compared to Sonic. I'm not delusional, but I wouldn't drop it on the same day as the Sonic trailer. That's all I'm saying. So if we get it, hopefully it's still this week, but hopefully it's also not tomorrow. And fingers crossed, maybe we'll get the trailer tonight. We could end up getting the trailer tonight, but my hunch is telling me we didn't get it today because of the fact that... There were leaked images that ended up ruining the plans for the trailer to drop today. That was what my gut feeling was telling me because I found it very convenient that something was supposed to happen today, Monday. And then last night over the weekend, we started getting these leaked images surfacing online. And apparently some of you are telling me the cast members are chiming in saying, please don't spoil our movie, yada, 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 of course. Going over how certain photos weren't even supposed to be out there. So we'll see what happens with this trailer situation. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.